checking my resources connections good all right so this is going to be a video that shows you how to do the steps in simulation one I'm not sure whether or not I'm going to make a video for all the simulations but I thought for this first one I'd give you a head start all right so in cell d8 can create a formula to subtract the value in c8 from b8 so click on d8 right there all formulas start with equal sign so it's b8 minus c8 enter yay copy the function down a few ways to do this you can copy and paste but I like this little fill handle right here and you can either drag it down and that's not a horrible deal for four rows but if you got 4,000 that's kind of a pain in the butt so I'll just double click right here Choo -choo -choo. boom done yay complete moving on yay my connection's still good enter a formula in cell H8 H8 calculate the number of payment periods for the first loan by multiplying the years by the payments per year using a mixed cell reference for the cells containing the payments per year so I want to say equals G8 times B5 so number of payment periods in the entire loan is 25 years times 12 payments per year so equals I'm gonna click on G8 times B5 now that would give you the right answer for this cell but as I drag it down these eights are going to turn into 9, 10, 11, 12 which is fine but if I want to multiply these number of years by B5 and I don't want B5 to turn into B6, 7, 8, 9 I have to lock that 5 in place and there's a few different ways to do it you can just click right in here in the formula bar and put a dollar sign in there or you can hit the F4 key which I'm kind of a keyboard shortcut fan so I'm gonna hit that and if you do it once that puts a dollar sign in front of the B and the 5 now I'm not concerned with locking the B in place because as I drag it down B is not going to change into C D E F so I'm gonna hit it F4 again and it, now it's just B dollar sign 5 the only time you put a dollar sign in front of both is if you're dragging the formula down and across but as you'll see in a couple steps here they want you to put absolute referencing with dollar signs in front of both anyway I guess just for practice even if I don't think it's quite right copy that formula down double click awesome use the auto sum feature to enter B16 auto sum is here on the home button auto sum sum and notice that it highlights all the cells above it and you don't have to do that so I'm just gonna click on this little thing in the lower right hand corner and drag it up now it's B8 through B12 I could have typed in B8 through B12 but since I'm here I'll so show you some shortcuts B17 I want the average but here I want to show the auto sum arrows on the formulas tab so just to show you that it's in different places so come here to formulas auto sum average I could also if I was if I knew what formula I was using I could just type in the word average and I want to average those values click and drag over them that's fine okay use the insert function command on the left of the formula bar to search for the median function alright so come over here formula bar insert function and if I don't know what I'm looking for I it's right here on top but you could just type in the word median wonder if I do that M-E-D-I-A-N go hey what do you know it's right there double click and then put my cursor in there it's already there I want the median value of those so I hit OK use the auto sum feature on the formulas tab to enter the min function alright equals formulas auto sum min I don't want those cells I want those enter highest that's the max function auto sum max I want 
want those. Number of mortgages. Uh, you enter the count function using the range BA through B12. So equals count. I'm just going to type it in since they tell me what it is. And I can either click on the, this or hit the tab key. And then it wants me to count those cells. Close the parentheses. Yay. And type in 425000 in B9. B9. 425000. Wow, that was taxing. Yay, I get credit for doing that. This is awesome, Ken. All right, so this is a fairly complex function that we're going to be working more in in Module 5, but I guess they want you to just get familiar with some of the more complex functions to show you some of the capabilities of Excel. So what we want to do here is in F9, this is the duration of the mortgage, 25-year mortgage, and the interest rate, or the APR, is going to be different depending on the length of the mortgage. So if it's a 25-year mortgage, I want it to come up here and find the value of 3.625 automatically. I don't want you to have to come over here and type in all these values manually because that could lead to human error. So enter the VLOOKUP function. So equals VL, there it is, tab. And I want to look up this value, comma. And here's my little lookup table. So if I highlight all of those cells at the same time, then it shows up here D4 to E6. Now notice they have dollar signs in front of the D and the 4, so that if you drag it down and across, those numbers don't shift, because I don't want those numbers to shift as I drag them down. I don't want the range to go from here, from here to here to here to here and to here to here and continue shifting down. So I want dollar signs, so I'm going to click in here and put F4, comma, and I want the second column to come back. So if it finds 25, it goes into this lookup table and brings back the second column, so I put in a 2, and then I want an exact lookup. More on that later in the semester. False, close my parentheses, hit enter, copy it down, click there, get the fill handles, double click, and finally an if statement. So PMI is private mortgage insurance. So if you ever go to get a mortgage on a house and you have more than 20% down payment on your house, you don't have to pay private mortgage insurance. But if you have less than that, then you have to pay several dollars per month for years and years just because you're not putting 20% down. So we have we want a formula that calculates this. So, all right, here we go. Equals if E9 is greater than or equal to B7. F4 for absolute referencing, even though you don't need it. Zero, comma, D9 times B6, F4, divided by B5, F4, and hit enter. Hey, that one worked. Copy it down. Now, if you don't have a Windows keyboard with F4 like you have a Mac, there will be a tool down here on the bottom that lets you click on it, and it will give you a Windows keyboard. I think I've got a different video on showing you how to do that. So I'm going to copy this down, and it should be done. Yay! So those poor people, because they didn't have 20% down, they have to pay $55 or $74 for years and years every month because they don't have 20% down. So if you buy a house, try to have 20% down so you don't pay that because that's money you're just throwing out the window. Click OK to submit, and there you go.